Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Lurch and welcome back to my Iron Man account. As for the last video, it was quite a big one. If I go ahead and open up the inventory, as you can see, got myself a couple of 99s, the first one being Attack, and the second one being the big dog 99 Slayer. I've been working on this one for a very long time, so I was very stoked with that. And as for the drops, I got myself an enhanced Trident of the Swamp, and of course the big fella behind me here got myself the pet Skotos. And the best in slot pirate headwear in the game being the big pirate hat, which I've got sitting on my noggin right now. And aside from that, got myself the Karen and Kebos Elite Diary Completion, with only one more remaining now, being the Desert. And got myself up to 2179 total level, and also 674 collections logged. But as for this video, I have one major goal in mind, and that is the completion of the Achievement Diaries. As I just mentioned, I have them all complete now, apart from the Desert Elite, and if I have a quick little gander in here, as you can see, just need to get myself 91 Thieving, 95 Fletching. But the one that's probably going to take me a while is getting myself that Calphite Queen Head. And the good thing about the Calphite Queen Head is that it is a guaranteed drop on 256 kill count if you get very unlucky with the 1 in 128 chance. So that's what I'm going to work on first. But I've got a horrendous melee weapon, a horrendous range weapon, and an even worse spec weapon. So I'd like to do it all on Slayer Task. So uh, first things first, I've got to finish off my last task I had that I'm pretty sure was worm. Yeah, worms. So I go smash out that worms task, and then I got a lot of points as you can see, so I can afford a fair few skips. Try and get myself a calphite task. Honestly, I don't even want to talk about all of the good tasks that I had to skip to get this, but there it is, 141 calphites. Let's go try out some KQ. Alrighty, I've just arrived. So this is the inventory setup I'm going with at the moment. I'm going to try out some Thralls instead of Vengeance. Uh, there's probably a few different methods which I'll try. This is just a little uh, test run. But as for the old collection log, as you can see, I've just got myself the one kill just on the hunt for that KQ head. But obviously I won't complain of a Dragon 2H or a Dragon Chain body either as they are needed for Master Clue Scrolls. Alrighty, let's see how this goes. Alrighty, that first kill went pretty damn smooth. Uh, I'll obviously probably have to do one kill trips, but that should be a, yep, there it is, a nice hard combat task. Alrighty, let's see how this goes. I'm going to extend a few more kills. And I thought I may as well smash out a few combat tasks while I'm here. And there we go, there is the prayer smasher complete. Very nice. And there we go, that should be another one. Yep, it is. Very nice. Insect deflection. And it looks like the last two are just uh, kill count related. So yeah, that's pretty much done. Very nice indeed. Oh, no way. Oh, I spent so long at Venonatus trying to get one of them bad boys, but there's my first drop coming in, a dragon pickaxe. I actually, uh, I'm not really sure on the drop rate of that, so I'll throw it up on screen, but I'm assuming it's <laughs> must be decently rare. But I don't actually mind getting myself a second dragon pickaxe, because now I can go ahead and store this one in the tombs of a mascot whenever I decide on heading back there. Holy shit. I guess that's why I'm using this fucking partisan. I just smacked a 101. <laughs> And there we go, that should be another combat task coming in. Yep, sure is. There's the Catholic Queen Adept. 130. Oh, there it is! No fucking way! <laughs> Only took me 38 kills. I can't even really believe it's there, but there is the KQ head. Very, very spoon fed on that drop. And the Zemi wines to top it off. How bloody good. Alrighty, first things first, got to go ahead and build myself a skill hall. I do not believe I have one in my POH. Hall skill trophies, I'm guessing that's the one. Go ahead and build that sucker. And now, where do I put it up? Over here by the looks of it. Head trophy space. And there it is, the KQ head. And you get 200... Oh, okay, it's, it's pretty good it shows that in case you're a pure, I guess, and fuck up your account. Holy shit, that is massive! And now I just got to have a chat to it. Pretty weird that I can even talk to it, but it is what it is. You don't scare me. And there we go, there it is. The elite task in the desert area complete. And next on the agenda, I would like to work on the level 91 thieving requirement. And it actually cannot be boosted as well, because I have to get myself in the pyramid plunder room. But that's quite alright, because I did want to train a bit of thieving anyway. Currently sitting at 87 at the moment, so I have to snag myself four levels. And the way I'm going to kick things off is actually at the uh, good old vampires, and that is because I want to get myself a blood shard. I still haven't received one as a drop from the Viawatch Sentinels, and the next best way of getting it is pickpocketing. Now, it is a 1 in 5,000 chance, so I could be here a while, but it is something that I've wanted on the account for a while anyway, so I do not mind at all. And to speed things up, I have got myself a fair few dog, uh, dodgy necklaces, and I am also using the spell Shadow Veil, so that should hopefully help me out a little bit. So yeah, I'm going to keep it uh, updated in the loot tracker and see exactly how long this takes. 
And there's the first level coming in, level 88 thieving. See you later. Okay, hey, hopefully we got our bad luck. No fucking game. way. I have literally been- how many pickpockets was that? It was not many. 321! Just about like, dead set about 5 minutes ago, I'm thinking, fuck, I really underestimated this. I'm gonna be here for so long, but uh, yeah, never mind. <laughs> there it is! And the good thing about having the old, uh, what's it called? Rogues outfit? Yeah, the old rogues outfit is I get myself two of them bad boys, so... Whenever I've got a pretty hard boss that I'm struggling with now, I can go ahead and make myself a blood fury. That is beautiful. And also, as you can see on the loot tracker, it looks like they are worth a pretty penny. So if we go ahead and whack them in the old price checker, what are we looking at? A sweet 5.5 mil each. <laughs> Not too shabby at all for an hour's work. And as for the next three levels, I guess I'm just going to do a mix of arty knights. And also, if we go ahead and zoom out, you can see I'm also going to do a little bit of pyramid plunder. I am still in need of uh, two Pharaoh Scepters, of course, one for the altar in the house and one for a Master Clue Step. So yeah, I think that's going to be the goal. Just whenever I can be fucked, I'll be over here at Pyramid Plunder, and whenever I feel like doing a bit of AFKing, I'll be over at Arty Knights. So yeah, let's kick things off. And there's level 89 Thieving coming in. And a big dog level coming in right here. Where is it? There it is. Beautiful level 90 Thieving. I can now pickpocket to Zah. Don't know if I'll ever do that in the future, but always nice to have the option. And that is, 90, uh, that is another stat in the 90s, only leaving me agility and uh, construction now for base 90s, which is uh, pretty nuts. And of course I just missed it, but as you can see in the chat box, I just got myself level 91 thieving, which means I can go ahead and loot that final room in Pyramid Plunder. And i actually done all of my XP here at Pyramid Plunder, got a little bit unlucky not to get myself that Pharaoh Scepter, but I did need the XP as it is, so not too bothered by that. So let me go ahead and loot this final chest... And that should be the task. Yep, there's the elite task done. I'm not entirely sure what's going on here. I feel like I've just infiltrated the level 4 cult. Buying uh, chocolate bars or something. But I have myself all of the ingredients to go ahead and cook myself a wild pie at the old clay oven over here. And this should be another task complete. Yeah, there we go. Only two left remaining. And now I've just got to go ahead and PK a poor foe in the desert. Looks like it's going to be this poor goat. Sorry, buddy. And there is another task down. Let me go ahead and spellbook swap and get the hell out of here. And now that only leaves me with one task remaining. So if we go ahead and check that out, as you can see, that is getting myself level 95 fletching and making some dragon darts. And uh, I am sitting at level 92 at the moment, and I can boost that up. But honestly, I would rather get the levels anyway. So yeah, that's what I'm going to go ahead and do. And I'm going to go ahead and do the stock standard way of training fletching, of course, being broad arrows. But I don't really want to do some bank standing, I'd rather get some stuff done while I'm fletching. So as you can see, I've uh, set myself up here at the good old pest control. And that's because if I go ahead and open up the collection log, as you can see, I do have most of the uh, necessary items, but I wouldn't mind trying to snag myself the helms, the seal, and of course the mace. Uh, obviously not in dire need of these items at any time soon, but I do enjoy doing collection log content, and yeah, I just don't really want to do some bank standing while I'm doing some fletching, so I might as well knock out two birds with one stone. So let's kick things off with a little bit of pest control. And there's the first of three levels coming in, level 93 fletching. And one thing that I overlooked was the amount of commendation points that I would actually be earning. As you can see in the chat box, I am getting eight per game now because of the uh, hard combat achievements being finished. So this is absolutely flying and I'm just about to jump off for the night. But before I do so, I think I'm going to buy myself a couple more pieces of the outfit. So go ahead and get myself oh, exactly half. I actually needed 660. It's pretty funny. Go ahead and buy myself the Void Knight Mace. And also go ahead and buy myself the Void Knight Seal. There's another two beautiful collection log slots. Never gets old with that coming up on the top of the screen there. So that now leaves me with, I believe, two more remaining. Yep, just two more to go. Just the helmets. Alright, very nice. I'll see you again tomorrow. And just banging out the final portal. And that should be another 400 points. Which means I can finally go ahead and get myself those helmets. And by finally, I mean, that only took me like an hour and a half. <laughs> it really wasn't that long. Go ahead and exchange. Buy myself the Void Melee Helm. And of course, the Void Mage Helm. And there it is. That is now yet another green log in the old minigame section. Very nice to see. Let me crack it open and have a look, of course. That is the wrong tab. <laughs> and where am I looking? Where am I? Pest Control. There it is. Another green log. You love to see it. 
But as you can see in the top right of screen, I still have a lot of fletching to do. So I think it's finally time <laughs> to go and train some agility. I fucking hate it, but it's my lowest skill. Needs to be done. And there's level 94 fletching coming in. <laughs> I'm literally 1 XP off. We climb up this wall and what feels like an eternity later, there is level 88 agility, which is actually a very nice level. Because as you can see, I can go ahead and use the Karoom Dungeon Pipe Shortcut to get myself to Hydra. And also, as you can see in the top right there, very close to that 95 fletching now, so I'll cut back in a couple of minutes. And one more. Turns out I didn't actually have enough broad arrows, but there it is, level 95 fletching. I can now make dragon darts. Alright, let's go smash out this final task. And just moseying on over to the Badabin camp, got to make myself this dragon dart. And there it is, the elite task done, and all of the desert tasks complete. And now I've just got to have a quick chin wag to a jar over here. Have a quick chat and get my rewards. There are some awesome rewards from this diary. I'll throw a few up on screen because I will 100% forget. But uh, the big ones being, I can go ahead and now have unlimited teleports to Nada. I forgot how fucking cool that animation is. Straight to the shrine, which uh, as I can show here, actually gives a full boost to all of your stats. And of course the plus 7 hit points as well, so I'm sure this will come in handy. Down the line somewhere. And also the unlimited port teleports to the Calphite Cave. Very nice indeed for those Slayer tasks. And on top of that, I get myself 100% protection from the desert heat. Uh, a Pharaoh Scepter can now hold up to 100 charges if I fucking had one, which I do not. <laughs> of course, the XP lamp. And uh, I'll show you. go ahead and show you the, the best uh, reward right now. And this reward genuinely makes me want to go back to KQ, even though I don't have any good weapons. And that is this massive fucking shortcut here. Straight through the crevice. Take me time getting there, give me a minute. <laughs> and then I can go straight down the tunnel and into the Calphite Hive. Go get my ass whipped by the Queen yet again. But I'll uh, go ahead and tell you on out now. Use my restoration pool, wherever the fuck it is. I should know because it's my own house. There it is. And of course, the XP lamp has to go on agility. It'd be rude not to. But if I go ahead and open up the achievement diaries now, as you can see, they are all complete. Let's go get that cape. And just gotta have a quick chat to Twiggy, but I might as well catch this gourmet while I'm here. Easy clue perhaps? Nah, just some spice. Let me go ahead and have a quick chat to her. Where can I get a cape like yours? Here's 99k. And there it is, the Achievement Diary cape. This was one of the goals. This is pretty much like my first ever goal that I set in the account to work through the Achievement Diaries. It's actually pretty unreal that I now have it done. But first things first. Where's this emote? Probably the best emote in the game, to be honest. Oh my lord. Don't turn around, mate. Don't turn around. <laughs> the ducks and gornskis? The, the bat is also gornskis? Oh, it's beautiful. And goodbye, KBD. <laughs> oh man, it's awesome. And on top of that, it has so many useful teleports. Like you can see here, there's just a ridiculous amount. So many are good for clues. Uh, the big one being, where is it? The Jungle Forester. Look at this shit. Gets me, oh fuck, hang on. Yeah, gets me directly next to the jungle bushes. And there are so many hard clues that require me to go through here. So it's so nice. On top of that, yeah, there's just a ridiculous amount of good ones. Another nice one is, of course... Back to Jar, because this is probably my closest teleport to a bank now, as you can see. Right next to a bank, apart from uh, probably Castle Wars. But yeah, I just cannot explain how useful this cape is for clues, and just how fucking awesome it is. Look at it! It's beautiful! And to celebrate getting myself this cape, I'm going to go ahead and punish myself. <laughs> as you can see, I am back at the Corrupted Gauntlet, and that is just because I'm still in dire need of a Bofa. It's just a ridiculous upgrade, as you all know. Something that I really, really would like to work towards. And as you can see, I am currently sitting at 350kc, and I do do 50 at a time, so this will actually send me to the drop rate for an Enhanced Crystal Weapon Seed. Uh, not to mention, I still do need two more Armor Seeds as well. So, got my fingers crossed, let's do this. Chest 359 for an Elite Clue Scroll. Very nice, I was due for a break. Alrighty, had a couple of caskets in the bank, may as well crack them all open. Five beginners, and there we go, a unique, straight off the bat, a Rune Skimmy Ornament Kit for Guthix. I think I'm only missing two items now in the beginner log, unless I'm mistaken. I am only missing two items now, very good. Keep cracking them open. There's the cabbages coming in, very nice. The shrimp and a steel plate skirt. For the medium clue, 
another headband. I've already got all of the headbands, unfortunately, for the hard casket. Nice little armadillo page, and for the two big dogs, the two elites. Oh, a mimic. There is the kill down. Nice quick one. Of course, got to grab that mahogany plank for good luck. It would be rude not to. Yes, I would like to leave. Let me crack this sucker open. Alrighty, what do you got for me, game? Ah, oh, you unique. I'll always take one of them. Piscarilia scarf. Very nice indeed. Oh, don't mind them Renars as well. And for the final elite, what have we got? Oh, a master. No, <laughs> it was almost finished as well. Oh, definitely don't have a Dragon 2H or Bandos boots. Oh, rip. And just doing a little bit of AFK woodcutting while I have some dinner. And there is level 97 woodcutting. Getting very close to 99 now. And uh, but check out the skills. Getting very close to 2200 total as well. Just around the corner. Chest 362 for another elite clue. Very nice. Alrighty, got the casket as well as a beginner and another elite from AFK Woodcutting last night. For the beginner, sweet fuck all. And for the two elites, uh, I've already got that scarf, unfortunately, that uh, baited me a bit too. Looked a bit like Gilded. And for the second elite, ah, uh, very nice, the Yuri's hat. We whack that bad boy on. Oh, looking very, very suave, my lady. Hang on, I'm going to have to do the emote now. There we go, beautiful. You love to see it. <laughs> Alright, back to CG. Chest 363 for a back-to-back -back elite. Holy shit, that's like three elites in, what, four or five fucking runs? Very nice. Well, that was a quick one. And for the reward, <laughs> horrendous. Oof, got it. I wasn't sure how that was going to go without rigor or augury, but there is a Grandmaster Combat task done. Thought I might as well try and work through some while I'm here. For the Wolf Puncher, and that was for making only one attuned, uh, yeah, one attuned weapon throughout the entire fight. So, yeah, as I said, was, wasn't sure how that was going to go about rigor or augury, but needless to say, got it done. Very nice indeed. And can I get rewarded for it? That's the real question here. No, I can't. <laughs> Chest 378 for another Elite Clue Scroll. Holy shit, you're getting a lot of these bad boys. And this should be the final step. Go ahead and dig it up. What have you got for me, game? Oh, a master. Not too shabby. And it's always a good day when I can get myself a master casket. Also got a couple of beginners from Birdhouse Runs. <laughs> Holy shit, you don't see that very often. Two uniques and the one beginner clue. Not too shabby. And sweet fuck all for the last. But now for the big dog, the master clue. <laughs> not much happening there. Chest 383 for another elite. What the fuck's happening? And for the casket. <laughs> Horrendous. Hey, uh, got it. <laughs> Thank God. There is another Master Combat task. Defense doesn't matter. That's for making no armor at all in there. Very nice indeed. Can I get rewarded for it? Come on! <laughs> oh, no good. There we go. There is the final kill coming in. KC400, which now puts me at the drop rate for the Enhanced. So surely that means I get at this kill, right? No, <laughs> no good. Oh, and I go ahead and open up the collection log. It is literally no different to when I started. And now puts me out, I'm pretty sure that's twice the drop rate now for the Crystal Armor Siege, which is a little bit unlucky. And of course, as I just said, at the drop rate now for a Crystal Enhanced Weapon Seed. But it is what it is. I've been lucky in so many other places in the game, so definitely cannot complain. And also, if I go ahead and open up the loot tracker, as you can see, a sweet 8 mil worth of loot, which is always a nice little constellation as well, as well as those 6 Elite Clues. Pretty lucky on them bad boys. And I'm not going to go ahead and call today just yet. There is one more thing that I wouldn't mind trying my hand at. And as you can see, I'm back here at KQ because I wouldn't mind trying to see if I can't snag myself a dragon chain body. I don't know how many master clues I've had to drop because I don't have this sucker as well as a dragon 2H would be nice as well. But I don't have the uh, Bandos boots required for this clue anyway, so not too focused on that. Mainly the dragon chain body would be very nice. Not to mention, it's just a massive nostalgia item. Like, I started playing this game in, I think, 2003, and this came out, I think it was a year or two after I started playing, and it was, like, all the fucking hype. So, yeah, just be a pretty cool item to get, not to mention the old collection log slots as well. So, let's head back to KQ. I have 101 more kills on task, so 101 more chances of getting myself that dragon chain body. Let's kick it off. Should be a nice little combat task coming in. Yep, there it is. Cal Fight Queen Veteran. That is now all of the KQ tasks fully complete. Very nice indeed. <laughs> hey, there it is, you bloody beauty. Only took 60 KC. Let me get out of the road. Oh, it's beautiful. Let me pick that sucker up. 
Oh my lord, put it on, put it on. <laughs> what a scucks. Looking very, very suave. Alrighty, I guess I'll just finish up this trip and then tell you on out. Would you take a look at this absolute fucking unit? <laughs> that gives me so much nostalgia, man. This was like a sweet, I think it was like 25 mil back in the day, so. Oh, I would have been cheering. It's so nice to actually have on the account, though, because, of course, when I was like 10 years old, I was way too poor to, poor to uh, actually afford one. But, <laughs> yeah, very, very nice. And I can't see a better fitting way to, than to end things off here. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. I actually have some big plans for the next one, so I'll see you all very soon.